So hello, everybody. Um, I and welcome. Um, I've got Lynn Hadrill with me, sitting with me today. Um, hello, Lynn. Hello, Sandra. Um, and Lynn is the latest member of the SimPod team. And so I thought I would introduce her to you because she plays a major role uh, in our um, in our whole set up um, because she is the community manager. Um, and uh, it's it's really um, the one of the most important jobs that there is in in our SlimPod world because um, all our customers are so important to us. Um, so I wanted to give a little bit of um, a background into uh, into Liz's life because she's also a, 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 she's also a SlimPodder and has been has had amazing success with her SlimPod. Um, and this is one of the reasons why um, she's ideal to be community manager. Um, so. I'm going to hand over to you, uh, Lynn, and um, and we can talk about. Um, you can tell everybody about you know what's been going on with your um, with, with your journey up until you joined SlimPod, and then how it all changed because um, you had a, a bit of a unhealthy obsession with food, didn't you, from a long, long time ago very unhealthy very unhealthy um for as long as i can remember i have hated the feeling of feeling hungry so i have always stuffed until my belly is fit to burst um and when it's not fit to burst i eat again or i used to eat again um yeah and that's been going on for 40 years wow wow and so um you, um, a long time ago, you um, you had this experience where you went to bed without a biscuit. This is true. And, yeah. Yes. Um, and how did that lead to secret binge eating and all the things that happened? So I was hungry, um, but our food was very regimented at home. So we had breakfast, lunch and dinner and no snacking, which is not a bad thing, but our portions were very small um, and we were never allowed to ask for, for treats or snacks. Um, my dad was a bit of a softy, so he would give in. Mum wasn't so soft. Um, and one particular evening, I think I was about seven and I really was hungry. So I asked if I could have a biscuit. Mum said, nope, off to bed. Dad said yes. So they had this huge row. I ran up to bed crying, thinking, oh my goodness, what have I done? I've caused all this trauma in my family. Um, you know, I felt sick with where I thought that's it. My parents are gonna hate me, they're gonna split up, or, you know, all these scenarios that children think of irrationally. Um, and that was it. And I was crying in bed, and then my dad snuck me up the biscuit and said, Don't tell your mother. And so I gratefully ate the biscuit and never said a word to mum about it. But I genuinely think that is when my, you know, looking back now, that's when my obsession with food began and the, the, the fear of feeling hungry began and, and sneakily eating, not eating in front of people. That's been my biggest thing, binge eating in secret. It's um, it's something actually that is a familiar story for so many people that I've come across over the last you know ten or more years, um, and there's so many there's deep rooted issues at uh, at the at the um, the base point of why they have had such a difficult relationship with food all the way through their lives. Um, now, it didn't kind of end there, did it? There was um, a bit of an upset when you were about um, 11 years old, and yep. which was very sad. And um, would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's fine. So um, my parents did get divorced and um, it was very unusual in its day, but it was mum that left the family home. So. <laughs> I was left with my two older brothers and my dad. Um, so I kind of became the mum at 11, really. 
and I took on all the cooking and the cleaning and the everything else and it was strangely once we got used to it, it was a very happy time because we were a very loving family but dad was always at work because he had to earn money to, to keep us fed um so I had to sort of pretty much run the house um and gradually over my teenage years because I had more freedom around food and being allowed to pick what food to eat and all my pocket money everything that was always spent on food nothing else right. I would pass a shop go in buy a bar of chocolate bag of crisps you name it um and it just went on from there really and that just became habitual yeah yeah um and so how has your health suffered um what you know with, with this um as a, as a result of your bad relationship with food so um i have um i have joint issues from where i've been overweight for a long time um i've yo-yo dieted many times and uh, twice i have successfully lost weight and been a weight i was happy with if you want to look at the scales but it all went back on again and more every single time um so that's caused me you know i had a difficult childbirth because I was overweight I had terrible back pain um, it, it literally sport the enjoyment of, of giving birth to my first child um, you know because I was in pain from other things and that I, I have no doubt that was weight related um, and I've got osteoarthritis again it's all so bad for my joints and my bones carrying all the extra weight um, but yeah I did nothing about it I just yeah. kept eating so, um, you signed up for SlimPod about seven months ago, which was, which month? Eight and that? a half months now, it was um, 14th of February. Months. Yeah, 14th of February, Valentine's Day, I said. Oh, up. amazing. <laughs> and what's happened since then? Oh, well, what hasn't happened? It's just been amazing, <laughs> honestly. Within, um, within a week, I just felt different. Um, I wasn't binge eat. I wasn't binge eating as much. I wasn't obsessing about food as much. I felt happier because um, my mental health has also struggled a lot over the years, partly due to my weight, I'm sure, because no confidence, you know, nobody can love me. I'm fat and ugly and, you know, all, all the horrible things that, that we say about ourselves when we're not confident. Um, and something just clicked in my brain and I just thought oh I, I really like this this is great and um I did what was asked I read all you know the instructions on joining I thought right this something's clicked already so this has got to be great so I've got to do this properly and I can honestly say at no point has it felt like I've been on a diet um not not once um it's just been amazing um the positivity the confidence i can look in the mirror now and think oh you don't look too bad whereas uh -huh. before i would avoid a mirror you know at all costs and very often cry if i did catch sight of myself um never had any clothes because you know what was the point in dressing me you know just uh -huh. in black tunic tops and you know there was no joy in clothes shopping for me so i didn't do it um and it's, I, you know, I honestly can't say enough about SlimPod. It's, it's an all in thing. It's, it doesn't focus on my weight. I haven't weighed for two months or more now. Right. Um, I kind of just out of interest for myself. I weigh maybe every three months, but right. I don't care what I weigh. I really don't care what I weigh. But um, at the same time, you know, you've dropped. Um, I've dropped. Um, at least two dress sizes, probably coming up to three now. Um, I've lost, ooh, I think it's about eight or nine inches off my waist. Wow. Uh, I've lost all over. Um, you know, people see me now and they don't, they sort of look twice, you know, they don't, don't recognise me and it's lovely. It's really and, lovely. Um, but when you did stand on the scales, I think it was two and a half stone, was it? That, that yeah, went or something like that? Coming up to three, so yeah. Wow, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so it hasn't all been plain sailing and a bed of roses, has it? No, absolutely not. Um, 
I do suffer from depression, um, although saying that um, I am no longer on medication. Um, wow. That's I, amazing. And I've been on it for a long time. Um, and yes, we, you know, I finally feel like a normal person and normal people have blips and have bad days or bad weeks. Things happen in life. And I've just kind of learned that just roll with it it will pass and everything will be okay again so occasionally I might eat a bit more than perhaps I need but I don't deny myself any food any drink if I really want it I have it but I just find naturally that I think I've had maybe three or four alcoholic drinks since I started Slim Pod and I, I've never intended to give up alcohol wow I just don't want it <laughs> um, I rarely eat ice cream which I love I you know, I, I just don't think of these things at all. Yeah. Um, but even, and even in my bad times, I may not maybe feel like exercising that day or yes, I do eat a bit more than I would, but it's not significant. I've not binged, I've not, it's just, I think I've just learned to roll with, roll with it and, you know, know that all these bad things that happen to us, they're happening to everybody else too. And sometimes a lot worse and, yeah, just go with it because it will all be right in the end. Yeah. So if somebody was just starting their slim pod journey, um, yeah. what advice would you give them um, as, as somebody who's now been on the programme for eight months and has made amazing progress? OK, so the, the main thing is positivity, 100 percent positivity you have to look for the good in everything. And, um, you know, if you if you join the SlimPod program, it focuses on wins and, you know, looking for the good every single day. And that is, is the key for me. And also consistency. So decide you're going to do something. Um, you know, SlimPod will, will guide you, but it can't do it all for you you know, you do have to make some effort, um, but it's not a diet, it's not hard work. It, it's just, it's just life changing. Um, so yeah, positivity, stick with it, trust yourself and trust in the SlimPod process and it will work. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that that's really, I, I just wanted to introduce Lynn to everybody properly, um, because she's been uh, working in the community. Well, you've been an active member in the community ever since you started, Lynn. Um, and then when we uh, wanted to get a community manager um, way back in September, um, it's now um, what are we now? Nearly well, we're the end of October now. Um, so you've been you've been um, working in the community now for um, five or six weeks, and uh, and how you've been enjoying yourself? That's the main thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love trying to help people and motivate people, and I just want to you know spread the word that come on. It, honestly, if I can do it, anyone can do it because. I had so many issues and, you know, 99% of the time they're not there now. Um, it's just, I feel like a normal person around food and that's just amazing. Fantastic. And look, we are, we're, we're starting a whole new service as well, which is called Gold Gatherings. And that was another reason why I wanted to, um, to bring Lynn on um, and uh, because I just feel that it's a really, really important thing um, for us to support everybody in the community. And that's including the people who aren't on Facebook. And we've got an awful lot of people who aren't on Facebook. Um, so I just wanted to let everybody know that, um, that we are doing a Zoom um, well, Lynn is Lynn and Kate will be running a Zoom um, calls uh, probably once a week, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's, once a week, yeah. Yes, um, and uh, and we're going to confirm with uh, we will we we will let you know um, when when they are. They're going to be on regular um, a regular day, and so that you know. And um, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be goldgatherings.com, and it'll be very easy. It's just um, you put in your password and 
and then and then we crack on and um and it's really kind of it's just a very light-hearted um gathering that you can get help uh, or you can you know get somebody to talk to if that's what you need um, and uh, and there to support you on in anything if you need a question answered if you um, need uh, I mean Kate and um, and Lynn are not um, nutritionists um, they're not um, PTs um, and they're not therapists but they are experienced podders and they know an awful lot about um about the the, the program and they are there to help and they're, and they're there also to direct you um to customer services or to me or wherever else um you might need to go next um so yeah as i said an added support and that's why i wanted to introduce you to lynn um, and you've got to excuse me, I've had this, our, our collie dog has made its way into my room again, um, I, it, just a Houdini with, uh, with the door, I don't know how she opens it, um, so that's why I've been kind of furiously rubbing her down here to keep her quiet. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will, I'll, I'll, look, I'll wind up now, and, uh, and I just wanted to... As I say, launch our gold gatherings officially um, and introduce Lynn and Kate is um, is is not on this video, obviously, uh, but she's there as well in the group and um, we will talk to her another time. So um, that's that's it. Thank you so much for Kate to, um, to Kate. Thank you so much to Lynn uh, for uh, coming on and talking to us and and telling her story because actually it's not the easiest thing to do to tell your story on video um especially with the um the lack of confidence that you've had um before so it just shows you where how far yeah. you've come doesn't it absolutely <laughs> wonderful great lovely and so on that note, um, I will say goodbye. And the collie has just walked out the door, which is just so typical, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> um, so take care, everybody. And uh, yeah, we will be launching um, gold gatherings and we will tell you all about it via email and, uh, and etc. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.